Greetings YouTube. I have been inspired by one of my fellow YouTubers to do another Liker Chain video. I've done a couple of these in the past, um, but I haven't done one in a while. And there are some people who I am subscribed to now that I wasn't subscribed to in the past. And I would like to mention them because I think these people deserve uh, either subscribers because they are small content makers or their content is good enough that I think my subscribers would be interested in it. So I've got a list compiled. Let me pull said list up. Here we go. Okay, first off we have a guy named Frank Howarth. And he is a woodworker. Um, he has a marvelous shop. Um, partly buried under the ground. It's kind of cool. He built it himself. Uh, and he does some just marvelous things with wood. It's it's You have to go check his channel out and see some of this stuff. And he's he does some stop motion involved in the, in the woodworking, so that's kind of cool too. And he's kind of an interesting, very mellow kind of guy. Um, and I, I, I find his videos interesting and very soothing. Uh, next we have Good Evening with two E's after the V. Um, and um, that's Amy, she's from Australia. Which I learned recently, Australians like to use U's in their words like color and flavor and such. Um, and she has just celebrated her 500th subscriber and she really does deserve uh, more subscribers than that. She is bright and intelligent and funny and occasionally takes off on serious topics and I appreciate that. Um, and she will be going to VidCon. I have no idea how many of my subscribers will be going to VidCon. Uh, I will not be attending. I don't do the whole flying thing. Not to mention I don't really want to spend time in a warm place uh, or waste my vacation time. But she deserves more subscribers, so go take a look at her channel. Um, I think you'll enjoy what you see. Um, she always tends to make me smile or think, and you can't lose there. Um, next we have Gophers Games and Modding. Now he actually has quite a few subscribers, like 86,000 of them. Um, and he is a modder. He writes and he creates the code for modding video games. Uh, and I've been watching some of his, or Skyrim videos. I, I enjoy watching Let's Plays of Skyrim. And there's only two people I really watch any longer of those. Well, three if you count the gentleman that he hasn't put up a, a video in a while now. Um, and Gopher is one of them. And I'll get to the other one later in his list. And the things I like about Gopher is he's got a great accent. Um, he creates immersive stories. Uh, and the current one is the story of Richard the Librarian and how he has become an inadvertent and sometimes unwanted adventurer. Uh, another thing I like about Gopher is uh, his technical discussions of the mods he creates and he uses and he reviews and things like that. So if you're really into mods and Skyrim, he's, his stuff is uh, something you're gonna wanna watch. And he doesn't swear, which I find so refreshing when it comes to video uh, videos about computer games. Is so many people that play video games swear like sailors and that gets very tedious as far as I'm concerned. Next we have Halogen Helen. She has very few subscribers but she's been doing a series of videos about superheroes and super villains as of late and I find them fascinating and she has an awesome accent. There's a theme there. I'm a sucker for a good accent. Next we have Nenin Z and if you like Legos Nan and Z's channel is the one for you. He reviews Legos, he talks about Legos, he has original designs he's done, um, he does pieces about Lego conventions, uh, so all kinds of stuff about Legos out there. So if you're into Legos, his channel is one you're definitely going to want to check out. Um, then we have Order of the Good Death, which is a channel run by a mortician, and she answers questions about death from the viewpoint of a mortician. And I was actually uh, hooked up to her channel by my friend Felicia, because my friend Felicia dreams of someday becoming a mortician. Some of my subscribers will remember Felicia. I believe she was most recently in the video about the uh, wolf fair that we went to. Um, next we have Serana00. Uh, Serana is a Finnish artist, and she does some wonderful work and has some thoughtful uh, videos and I always enjoy them. I mean, it's something that it, 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 it tends to slow down my morning when I see her stuff come up and I always get, uh, get something out of the videos because she has a lot of in depth to what she has to say. 
Um, and she has far too few subscribers. And then we, we have, the next is Sea of Rabbits, with a Z. Um, and she does Let's Plays, um, somewhat haphazardly, but I find them entertaining. Um, but she also does balloon animals. I don't think you can fail to enjoy a channel that has Let's Plays and balloon animals, or balloon art, balloon art, I should say. She doesn't just do animals. And she's been getting into some really complex balloon designs as of late. Um, which I find fascinating, even though I'm never going to make them. Squeaking rubber that you have to go through to make those. I'm okay with it at a distance, but I can't even imagine doing it myself. I'll pass. Um, and last and but not least, we have Tales of Lumen. Now, Lumen, or Swen, uh, Swen is a South African Let's Player. And that's all he does. Well, not all he does, but that's the bulk of his videos. He does Let's Plays. And I have watched a number of Swen's videos, and they're all, all entertaining. And again, like Gopher, he doesn't swear. He has this wonderful voice and laugh. Imagine uh, Stewie if he was South African. Um, uh, Stewie Griffin. And he talks about uh, his lovely uh, fiance Helene, and the world's most perfect puppy, Nero. Um, he also does the occasional video about cooking, which are cool. Uh, does personal vlogs and Q&As, which I find fascinating. Because again, he's got a great accent, he's fun to listen to, and he's just... He just has this very boisterous voice and personality. And you just get... A, I get a lift out of just listening to, to Lumen talk. Um, and when he talks about his dog or his fiance, uh, or his fiance and his dog, it depends on you want to look at it. Um, it's always a joy. You can tell he loves both. Um, and it's a nice glimpse into South Africa. I don't really have a lot of information on South Africa. So, I would recommend you check out all of the channels that I have just mentioned. They are all worth your time. They are all entertaining. Um, and we have a guest today. It is our very fat chicken.